Now, when we think of our heroes, we usually think of somebody who's big and strong. And today's Mandela Monday hero is somebody who's exactly like that. Claude Maposa, who is a man with a very, very big heart and who's founded a non-profit sporting fitness organization that is helping to build a community by building its muscle. In my life, sport, what it has given me is uh, the way to interact with people, the way to give back to the community, the way to do what I, nobody else can ever do when there, there's no opportunities. So that was what it has done to me, to build character in me as well. Former bodybuilder turned trainer Claude Maposa has turned fitness into community development with his A-Team Gym, a fitness and wellness centre in the Cosmo City multi-purpose hall. I like all of the exercises. I enjoy all of them. We go inside with the machines. Sometimes we go around the place. You see, we do a lot of different activities and that makes us happy. We're very happy about that. Oh, I like my coach. Yeah. Because always, worry boy, worry teacher. And the real mom and the real mom and the real mom and the real mom and oh happy Karina. Lirina, Lirina Ramurata, Kuban Har Philippine. Why is there a number of Kukurinali chick? Nakonga Harrets is all Rinalu Keles and Tarin. Maratta Teles Ribona Horimo, Harsa is into Eric Simo, Rikasi Pumel. Riaz and Tongulang Lung are in Riaz. Oh happy Karina Ramurata. Claude works with everyone from youth who want to improve sport performance to his beloved group of gogos who train with him for a healthier lifestyle. When I came here, the most of the people that were around me, it was grannies. And when they saw me doing what I was doing, they got interest in it. And they said, no, why don't you give us an opportunity? Then I said, wow, I've never seen gogos lifting weights, you know. But when I realized that they had interest in it, I also got interest in asking them to come in. Any angle, as you can see, they're all from different angles. But mostly your pension years from 65, our oldest is about 70, 80, and they keep going, you know. So for me to see them every day exercising is a, is a great initiative. The gym is also producing impressive young bodybuilders and future trainers who Claude is mentoring to help spread a love of fitness in the community. The coaching style is, is something I've, I've never came across. And uh, he gave me what I didn't have, yes, which is now I can stand in front of the crowd and compete and show my potential, the body. And he's a dad to me, he's a father. So I'd like to help others as he helped me. I saw one lady came here with uh, walking sticks. Today she can even run after a ball. So I couldn't even believe myself that, can we do this? They come here sick, they go home with a big smile, healed. So we, we help them, we heal them, and they're also blessing us. For me, it's a healing process. Either they're feeling down on themselves, or maybe the doctor has said, you know what, you need exercise. And so for me, it's a way of life. You know, it's not about being fit. They all have different reasons why they're in the gym. So not all of them are coming for the purpose of fitness. You know, some of them, they're coming for the health reasons, just besides uh, fitness on its own. It's like a therapy. Yeah, so it benefits them a lot in that sense. I think he is a hero. He is a hero. In my life, he changed a lot of things. He helped me a lot. AG. They say a healthy body houses a healthy mind, but Claude's going one step further and showing that healthy bodies can also lead to healthier communities and brighter futures.